So I have a much simpler animation budget for you guys. I found one online from um, Great Britain's submission for um, animation funding and then modified it to be United States. So this is going to be a lot simpler for you guys. So this is what the top sheet looks like. So you will fill out this information, film, director, producer, production company format. Um, then your prep animation post day length. So you can put a number of hours for most of you guys. That'll be eight hours because these would be normal weeks. Do not modify this. This gets generated by a formula where the budget is. And then all of this, you don't touch anything on. This is your top sheet and it will get built from your budget. So here's what I did for you guys on the budget. So again, you would put in just this top information, um, not budget. Does this come from? No, they don't have formulas on this and I didn't add them to cross formula it. Okay, so the amount, remember, is how many units. So like this is five days. Unit is the unit of measure, so it doesn't get used for any calculation, but it's the reminder for you what it is. Days, weeks, flat, which is it's going to cost exactly this much, and allow. Allow means up to this much is allowed before people start freaking out are the most common. X is how many people or like how many computers, like you might need 16 weeks of computer rental for five computers. Rate is how much paid per unit per person or per station. So you guys will fill in these parts. So I got it reduced down significantly from that super long budget that you guys had originally. So we'd say like if there is four weeks, let's do this for one episode, for example, four weeks, um, one writer, and they're going to be paid $2,000 a week. So you see this subtitle here is $8,000. This is for cost reporting. Right now you haven't actually paid them anything. So the variance is $8,000. Let's say, okay, we've paid our script writer now and it was actually 10,000. Now we have a negative issue. And over here, you'll see the negative that, uh-oh, we're over budget. So that's what this blue is all the way across. Okay, so you go through, you put these things. Let me throw here in the story rights. Let's say you did a flat option for two writers who would come up with the original concept. Or maybe it's your team. So there are four people on your team and everybody is going to get $5,000 for all the great work they did developing this story. All right. Now that is a flat fee payment. You don't pay employment taxes on this. So let me skip down here to show you guys the calculations that I put into this spreadsheet for you. And this is the stuff that was different from the source I found. Okay, so first, insurance. Production insurance on average is 3%. So this is not <clears throat> a completion bond. This is just your general production insurance. So we have 3%. This is the only thing you change. This amount is calculated off of all of those subtitles, subtotals, and we're getting one insurance policy. So you see our insurance is $840. Legal fees you would put in here probably as a flat or an allow. Tax fringes get calculated. So the writers are employees. So your writers would get paid and have taxes paid on. And I just put an estimate of 20%. It's what I've done in general for Virginia calculations of 20% is your basic taxes, not counting health insurance. So this puts all of your taxes here as a sub item for insurance and legals. Health insurance, um, it looks like on average for companies in the United States paying health insurance, it's $4,000 per year. It's a lot more if the people have family, a lot less if they don't. It varies based on their age, all that stuff. I'm putting in 4,000 as a base number. And if you end up in this sheet with more than 50 US-based employees, you're going to want to include health insurance. Um, if you're significantly under 50, you could not. You can always provide health insurance even if it's not legally required but if you have 50 or more, you're going to need to provide it. So what we're gonna say is the number of years. Let's say this is a one year production and we have 50 people. So you see for 50 people for one year, our contribution for their health insurance is $200,000. So you wanna just round up with this because it is an approximation. So even if somebody's working for 40 weeks, 
count them as a one year person, okay? And you could do 1.5 if you're like, this is a year and a half long production. Uh, why is that still showing as two? It shows 1.5 here. That's, it must be rounding up in the display. That's not good. Okay, I will try to fix that, but really you guys just doing one year should be fine anyway. Um, so that's what you would do for health insurance. Now, let me just go through a couple other line items in here. So you've got your production team, voices. So if you had, say, um, and there's some space for an extra description here if you actually had names. Like if you wanted to make notes here, like Dean, Lorelei, Rory. And we're gonna need them for 16 days of voice recording and there's three of them and they get paid a thousand dollars a day okay so you'd put all those in here art department i added a section here for you for outsourced animation i talked with professor ruiz in doing an estimate of ten thousand dollars per finished minute for exported animation is fine for for outsourced animation um, is a fine estimate for you guys for doing these. So you can do that for outsourced animation. So you would say um, minute, right? And let's say you have 23 minutes and you're doing this for one episode. So times one, if you were doing this for all your episodes, you do like times 20 and it is $10,000 per minute. There we go. Uh, purchases and rentals and outsourced animation, those do not affect your tax fringes because those are not US-based employees. So it's not calculating for that. It does affect your insurance because your insurance is based on your total production budget. So you would go through here and fill these all out as you can and we will work on this on Wednesday, but this is a much simpler um, calculator for you guys to work on for a spreadsheet. Um, and you can see these things have updated for where we added voices, art department and animation, script and story, insurance and legals. These are the things that we have done so far. Um, and contingency is updated here for 10%. And you see your grand total. And that grand total is also up here and up here. All right, I hope that helps you guys.